Hey, badass business owners, have you ever wondered what the future holds for your small business? Like, what's it going to look like in five years, 10 years, 15 years? Are people even going to be wanting what it is that you do? Especially with all this talk about AI and everything else coming up. Well, I want to share a few thoughts on this. First off, one, I definitely think for the vast majority of you, you are going to be just as popular five years from now or 10 years from now with whatever it is that you do. For most of small businesses that serve their communities, these are things that can't be replaced by AI and they can't be replaced necessarily by robots. Plus, people love interaction with another human being. So if you think about your business, more than likely it needs you to do it. For example, if a plumber installs water heaters, I doubt there's going to be some robot or some AI that's going to install that for them. If somebody does cuts their dogs, I'm pretty sure no one's going to trust Fido with some machine going around the dog. Uh, same thing with their nails, whether it's roofing, whatever the case may be. So there's a great future for your business not to be taken over by AI or anything else. The other thing that's really amazing when you think about this, for a lot of you, this is another great reason why I think your business is going to do well in the future. If you think about it, we have a lot of different generations right now. We have the silent generation, which are the ones from World War II. Then we have the baby boomers. And then we've got Gen X, which is what I'm a part of. Millennials, Generation Z. And then you've got the alphas, I think is what they're going to call the next group, whatever the case may be. And right now we're finding a lot of millennials have been buying houses. And then after that's going to be the Gen Z. But here's what's interesting. These folks are going to need your services more than the baby boomers or even some of the Gen X's. And here's why. Back in the day, people used to tinker in their garage and they used to fix things. If the toaster broke, they fixed the toaster. If, if something broke, they fixed it themselves. Well, today technology is replacing things so quickly and they just don't last the same length of time that they did. A great example is I had some rental houses that were built in the 50s and they had air conditioners on them that though you could still kick those things and that's how you got them working again. And they would last 50, 60, 70 years. But yet, if you look at most of today's air conditioners, if you get eight to 10 years out of it, you're doing great. They just don't make them the same way they did before. So what's interesting is the people that were like from my generation, Gen X, some of those people learned from their grandparents or from their great great grandparents or whatever the case may be, baby boomers, definitely from their father, their grandfather and everything else. Well, Gen X with my group, it started changing a little bit because we were the latchkey kids, right? This is where both parents ended up going to work or they were single families, single moms, single dads, whatever the case may be. Well, nobody was there to teach our generation, especially later on, how to do a lot of those things. And I can tell you, Generation Z and the millennials, as well as these alphas coming, getting born right now today, they're not going to have that same advantage of where they were taught how to tinker and fix things themselves. So it's not going to be as much of a DIY, do it yourself type of thing. I think what we're going to find is that people are going to pay for other people to do it for them. And this is where your business comes in and how your business is going to do really well in the future. So on one hand, you're not going to be taken over by AI. You're not going to be taken over by robots. Um, you're not going to be taken over by people that just want to go out there and fix it themselves. You're, we're building these generations coming up to where they need you to do what it is that you do. They're finding it's easier to pay someone else to pick up their dog poop, for example. They're finding it easier to farm out these deals and these these things they need to have done to someone else and have them pay for it. You know, they're starting to understand. Kids today are learning a lot more about finances and how to pay for different stuff than a lot of some past generations are just from the internet. The internet alone has opened up so many opportunities for people to learn so many things that it's just going to change the whole dynamics. And I do think that when you're looking at your small business, there's going to always be a need for you because as long as we have houses and as long as we have people living in communities and living in neighborhoods, they're going to need these services that most of you offer that are out there today. And if you happen to have a business, I want you to sit back and ask yourself, when you're building your business, are you setting it up to be successful with these different types of things that are coming up? And if there is something in your business, if that's going to change because of AI, for example, or because of robotics, it's really going to be more of the technology side of your business. So for example, before you may have had to diagnose it yourself, well, now there's going to be fancy gadgets and everything else that's going to help you. So I want to make sure that you are open to some of the changes that are coming up. I don't think you're going to lose your clients, but I do think technology is going to make it way easier for you to be able to run your business. For example, if you use House Call Pro or Jobber, those are making those are two tools that are really making it better for a lot of people to run their business because it's all automated. They can do it all on their phone, on their laptop, on something else. Uh, so 
technology is going to complement your business, make it easier. It's not necessarily going to take away your ability to do your business and to have clients and have customers or whatever it is that you want to call yours. So I really think that the future is so bright for each and every one of you guys out there today when it comes to your small business. And I want you to get excited by that because if you're building a business for the future, whether it's to sell it down the road, pass it down to your kids, uh, to build an empire, take over the world, whatever it is, uh, it's definitely doable and it's definitely possible. And I think that when you look at some of the signs pointing towards the future, AI and robotics are just going to help you run a better business. And honestly, with the different generations that are out there today, I think that they're just going to open up a host of new customers that you might not be getting today, especially if you service folks that um, are typically the type that will try to fix it themselves, because those are slowly going away as our population ages and newer generations kind of take over the mainstay when it comes to a lot of different things. And by the way, don't rule out those baby boomers because sometimes they can't fix it the way they used to. In some cases, they're like, you know what? I don't need to do this anymore. And they need your services. A lot of people have really been targeting that that uh, baby boomer generation and soon to be this Gen X um, generation, really targeting them because they also are willing to pay for it versus doing it themselves. So the future is so bright for you guys. It, it really is amazing when it comes to your small business. You just have to learn how to embrace the pieces that are going to help your business get better and stronger. And I promise you, you're going to be around for quite a while. So it's really exciting time for you. And uh, I'm excited for every single one of you. And before you go, check out this other video because the algorithm is saying you're going to like it. So I'm going to trust them.